So guys, just the other day, I uploaded my first Anthem video in what, two years? Talking about what's happened with the game over the past two years, how it came out, how it failed, how Bioware were working on 2.0, how they were working on rebooting the game and how they themselves have been completely silent for months. I mean, they dropped images of the game and development progress in terms of the reboot. We saw a couple of screenshots, you'll see one of them on screen now. But other than that, they have been completely silent over the past, I don't know, many months anyway. Now, I was going to record this while playing Anthem Live. Problem is, after I recorded my last video, I uninstalled it. I am about to reinstall 70 hour gig just for this video because that would take me all night and you wouldn't get this video till tomorrow. So I'm just using the same gameplay I used for the other video people. I apologize about that. But yeah, Bioware in terms of development or progress on 2.0, the reboot of Anthem, have been completely silent. We know two of the top dudes at Bioware have left the company. One of them left in the past, come back, and has left again. And this has kind of left a lot of questions within the community's minds in terms of what is actually happening with this reboot to Anthem. Like I said, Bioware haven't said absolutely anything for a long while now, so many people are speculating, saying that the game's just been left to die. It's just been left in the shadows. Bioware now working on other projects, and Anthem is just a fail. And although many people, including myself, probably think that's the right move for Bioware. I don't know if they do put all this work into the game, into the reboot. Will it still have that impact? I think they expect. I don't know. It's a giant risk in my opinion and it's a risk it seems Electronic Arts will make a decision on later on this week. As news has come out people that later on this week Electronic Arts will decide the fate of Anthem. And this news comes from Jason Schreier, who's one of the biggest and most trustworthy game journalists in the world. His article on the whole thing you'll find linked down below. Now Jason Schreier has been speaking to a few of the team who don't want to be disclosed, who've been working on this game. And to quote him and his article, he says, Anthem, a multiplayer game by the EA-owned developer Bioware, launched in February 2019, to poor reviews. In the following months, Bioware put together a small team to overhaul the game. Executive producer Christian Daly wrote three blog posts last year outlining some of the big changes planned. But in December, Bailey left the Anthem team as part of a Bioware management shakeup, leaving the project's fate in question. This week, EA executives will review the latest version of Anthem Next and decide whether to expand the team or abandon the project. And this is coming from the people who don't want to be named discussing this information. The Anthem Next team includes about 30 people. People familiar with their project said it would need to expand to at least triple that in order to produce new content and continue attempting to overhaul the game. EA has not yet indicated whether it's willing to commit that kind of budget to revive it. Now it has been said that a spokesperson for EA said the company doesn't comment on rumour and speculation. But we know that Anthem Next or Anthem 2.0 or the reboot, whatever you want to call it, was basically an overhaul of the game. And to be honest, going back to it and playing it the other day, it's, you know what, it's, it's the fundamentals are there. It's a good game, it plays good, it's fluid. The problem with it is it started in a piss poor state and the updates have dropped to it since that were just way too late. Me personally, I think EA will scrap it. I think they will scrap Anthem 2.0. I don't think it's coming. And to be honest, I think that is the smart move. I just think it's going to take too much. I think it will take too long. And by the time the game's done and ready, people will forgot long about it. What they need to do is take the core fundamentals from the game, take such features like the flying, which was as fluid as anything. It was unbelievable. It felt amazing. And apply these to a different game. Apply these fundamentals to something else. But at the same time, make sure that game, whatever project these are added to, releases in a state where it more or less doesn't kill your company. Because have Bioware, even though they're owned by EA, have they made a comeback since Anthem? I'm not sure they have. I mean, we've heard of the rumours of the remastered Mass Effects coming. I mean, that's cool and all, but 
I don't think that's going to solve much. And let's not be around the bush people. Second chances in terms of video games. How many success stories can you name off the top of your head? Because I can't name many. I mean, No Man's Sky released in a piss poor state, but it ended up in a game that was absolutely unbelievable. But so many people who brought that game, I actually brought a PS4 to play No Man's Sky. That's how hyped up I was about it got the game on ps4 and it was absolutely terrible still got my ps4 people in fact i've got a ps4 pro now but i ain't ever going back to no man's sky even though it looks incredible it looks like a completely different game and it probably would suck me and it probably would surprise me if i went back and played it now cyberpunk's trying to get the same kind of turnaround because let's not lie about that either i mean even though i believe it's a good game underneath the bugs and glitches it released in a piss poor state and it's going to take a miracle to recover and become the game they initially wanted us to believe it was and from now just don't think it can get that kind of redemption story because at the end of the day even if it does fix up even if it does release in a perfect state even if it is a decent looter shooter the amount of competition that's out there now for this game i still don't think it would work and I still don't think EA or Bioware will turn a profit on it. I mean, I hope to be proved wrong. The more looter shooters out there, the better. But I just don't see it happening, people. But yeah, if you want to read Jason Schreier's article on this Anthem Pulse, you'll find it linked down below. But tell me your opinion on it, people. What do you think? Do you think we'll see Anthem 2.0? If we do, when do you think we'll get it? Because it won't be anytime soon. Do you think EA and Bioware will scrap it like I do? Let me know. But yeah guys, just a quick update and I'm basically making this because I made that video the other day and I want to keep you guys informed. So I hope you enjoyed the video. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.